Hello everyone. So here is going to be a tutorial on how to put together the Kronos miniatures. Um, I have done a video of this before, but it was a little more of an experiment. It's long, um, and I found a better and quicker way to do it. Previously I would do it with a glue that dried, uh, took longer to dry, uh, because sometimes you want to keep things moving around and stuff, but, um, it was more of a pain than it was worth, and then the type of glue, like, wasn't easily paintable and stuff, so it was hard to, like, pick it out where it would, like, seep out a little bit, so, um, I just go straight to soda glue, which is baking soda and crazy glue, um, it's an instant bond, it's like resin, and, uh, it's quick, it's easy, you won't be able to really, like, fiddle with parts too much once you sprinkle on the baking soda, but, um, it's just so much easier and quicker, so let's get this. Started. So we'll put together this little jumper guy, the newest one that came in. Um, <clears throat> it comes in all these parts. So the body's in two parts. Got the head, tail, and it looks like a part of the base there. The bottom part, and also looks like part of the base where he jumps over. What you're gonna need is some super glue or crazy glue. This is the one I really like because it comes in a bottle. Um, it's easy to close up and use and reuse and then if this gets kind of gunked up and you can't get to it, you can actually pull this out and get to the actual container. So that's why I like these a lot. You can actually use it and it doesn't, you know, dry up on you too quickly. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna need some baking soda. I put a bunch in here. It's just easier to utilize that way. Um, you're probably gonna need a pair of like wire snips or whatever these are called um, to get them off of their thingy bobs and maybe some files and stuff because you might need to file down a little like pegs and stuff to make their sure things line up right. Um, I'm just going to use the Dremel. I'll post some links in the description of some files that I like and such and so on. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to start removing everything from the bases. You got to be careful though because you have to figure out what you should be cutting and what you need to leave alone. Um, so like this tail, it's got an interesting sprue here, but I have a feeling it only needs to be up to that peg, uh, but I'm going to double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just going to be that peg that needs to cut this little peg here. And I cut it at the peg. So we have our tail. Tail. Let's finish this up. Also not sure how this one is, oh, I guess that's how it's going to get removed, because it just kind of came off. So there's a plank of wood there, it's for the base. Let's see. No, see these are square pegs, it looks like, so I can cut these rounded ones off. It actually just snaps right off, um, so you may not even need these snippy thingies. So, removing the base, done. I actually like to save these little pieces. Um, some are, aren't going to be able to use, but others um, actually do make, like these long ones, do make actually a good base for them. Um, you get some epoxy, you put a couple together, and it actually, you know, saves you some epoxy and makes a nice base. The head, cut all the pegs off of. I assume there's only one main peg that goes into that one. So this one's a little harder to like poke off, so you're going to need that for this. This is where I ran into it last time, where these little things where I cut off kind of interfered with how um, level it went in. It looks okay. So I'll leave that alone. I don't even need to take that off because it goes in the horse anyway. So this definitely has a peg you want to leave for when you plug it into the base. So don't cut that full peg off. got a thing sticking off the hoof. I'm not going to cut that yet because I'm not sure what that is. I don't think it goes into anything, but I can't be certain. Oh, it might actually. Yeah, I bet you it goes into this because there's a little, um, I don't know if you could see it, a hole there, and there's a little piece coming off the hoof. That must go in there for stability. I bet you it does, so I'm not going to cut that off. Good thing I double checked that. And now we'll work on this one. It's got a little screw here. Don't cut the peg there. And, all right. 
You want to like start putting these together a little bit to see, make sure they fall into place. See like that, I do need to like shave something off here. It's probably those things again, which I'm going to do that real quick. Yeah, it's way better, way better. So now that goes in there real nice and easy. Hole in the butt there for your tail to go. That looks like it goes in okay. Um, that was another reason why I didn't like using the other glue too, um, because you have to like do some sort of like tape here to hold it as it dries. With the crazy glue you'll see, it'll be pretty much instantaneous. This seems okay. It's got a little notch here that's preventing it. So you just gotta go through. Go through and see how it lines up first um, to make sure you know you don't have little things interfering that are making a big gap where it shouldn't be. I don't think I really need to do the base for you guys, so it's pretty same way that I'm going to be doing this. So I just want to make this video quick and painless. So here we go. <clears throat> Take my crazy glue, and what I'm going to do is uh, put it a lot around the edge. Get it on there. Uh, Oh, oh jeez, oh jeez. Too much, too much. Hold on. I didn't think it was going to come out, and it came out all over the place, and now it's all over the model. Carefully squeeze out. So I can't just, I can't really see because of the lighting in here. Why is this? Uh, so you want to carefully squeeze out along the whole edge. Crazy glue. You want to put some in those holes as well because that's where they're going to get there. And for good measure, I do it on both sides. Just don't put like super much where it's gonna like leak all over the place. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick the two sides together. Careful with your fingers. And now, oops, see, I got it all on my fingers. I just wipe this so it doesn't like have big blobs. Now what you do, make sure you don't have it leaking out too much and obscuring details, because it will be hard to file off. Now what we do is we take some baking soda and we just sprinkle it along just where we did. This will make it <clears throat> bond instantly so we have a hard sandable surface now. Um, you're only going to pretty much get a little bit of the outer later while the middle dries on its own but that is enough to hold this together. So you can see it's kind of, it's actually really gritty right here right now because it's solid. I can take a file and like literally file this right now. That's the crazy glue I'm actually filing. So it's a very hard, almost resin-like um, cure. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing for the head. Put some glue around the edges. Glue around the edges. Side two and stick that baby in there. So I can get it in there now. There we go. And line her up good. Just good enough. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just kind of push it in that line there. And look at that. Together. Done. It's solid. Um, so that's awesome. Um, you're also obviously going to need to prep these more so than you would a normal resin or something because now you have some gaps and things. Um, but they're pretty resilient. I really like these. And for the tail, let's put some glue in this hole here. Get a lot of glue on the peg here because this is a little loose. So we may need some fiddling. So hold it. I'm going to hold it up where I want it, and then stick this in there, so it stays. There we go. And there you have it. That's so much quicker and easier than that last video with the move aroundable glue and then the crazy glue and soda glue. Um, I just do it with the soda glue now. It's so much easier and quicker, and they're together in like five minutes. So, but again, it's going to do a lot more prepping, but still. There you go. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye!